I started writing as a healing mechanism after a really bad tragedy in my life, and um, I'm hoping this poem will give me closure in something that's five years old. <laughs> Um, notes to my late uncle before his 52nd birthday. One, I never saw you as ill as they said you were. In my brain, I see you with long hair again, standing so tall your scalp brushes against the top of my living room. I just can't picture you with eyes drooping like tire swings and sinkhole cheekbones. That wasn't you. It couldn't be. Until you were gone, oh sorry, two, until you were gone, suicide was just the topic of an article on about.com. I was a child and I could not fathom the idea of those with the world at their fingertips wanting to end their own lives, but I know now. The world wasn't a luxury at your fingertips. It was a burden on top of your shoulders. Three. For the last five years, I have been self-conscious every time I cry. I know that wherever you are, whether it be in the sunrises I never see in Albuquerque or roaming in the streets around my town, you are watching over me, and I don't want you to see me like this. Four, this note is to the humming in my ears for once convincing me that asking the open air every night to let you be okay would heal all the depression in the world. Way to get my hopes up. Mm. Five, after you died, I disconnected the home phone without telling my parents that god-awful ringtone was the reminder that I hadn't seen you in a year and a half and that I never would again. Six, I selfishly want you to come back. I selflessly want to try and heal you. Seven, come back. Eight, please come back. Nine, I miss you. All we have of you now is an urn, bluer than the ocean we visited one Christmas, bluer than the eyes I wished I had, be I had because I was the only girl in my family with brown eyes. Now they say I have you do, I have your eyes. And when they do, I try not to blink 10. Mm. I don't feel like a child anymore because I know what it's like now to have a civil war go through your body. I am sorry that you suffered, but I am also sorry that you never got to see the age of 52. I feel like that would have been a great age. <laughs>